In this tutorial in Microsoft Access, I'd like to show you how to change the parameters of a field so that you can control the input a little better, especially when it regards something like a number or a date. We're going to look at the table called People. I'll double click on it and it will come up. And I have a state here. I also have a field called Zip for zip code. I'm going to right click on the tab and go to the design view. Right now when I look at the zip field it says it's a short text. So right now I could put in a field size of up to 255 characters. Well I'm going to use the short five character uh, field right now. I'll change that to five but there's another thing I can do to make a difference. I can choose an input mask. So if I click in the input mask field property, I see these three buttons. If I click on them, it will give me the options. It says save the table first. I will say yes. And some data may be lost. That's OK. So now it gives me a, a, an input mask wizard pop-up screen. In this area, I can put in a long zip code, an extension, a password field. I can go long time, short date, medium time. You can even create your own if you want to. But let me use a couple of the pre-built ones. Right now I don't need this zip code because all I want is five digits. So I'm going to use the one extension even though it doesn't say it. And when I click on that I can actually try it out here and see what I get when I get into the field. And it gives me five digits. If I try to put in a letter or a space, I get an error. It won't let me do that. So it will give me five digits, no more, no less. I'll get the right information. So I'll back out of that. I don't need to try it anymore. I choose extension and I click next. And then it gives me an input mask. It recommends using 9999 and a placeholder. I could use the underscore. I could use a pound. I could use any of the ones we see here. Dollar sign, asterisk, whatever you like. I'll leave it with the underscore for now. And then I'll click Next. And then I can put it in with or without any symbols in the mask. Uh, in this case, it doesn't vary. So I'll, I'm going to leave it like this. I'll click on Next and then I'll click on Finish. And now I see the input mask. The technical term, uh, the technical uh, look of it is four nines followed by two semicolons and an underscore. So instead of memorizing all that data on how to design one, the wizard did it for me. So now I have the zip field as short text. Let me do another one. Let's, let's do uh, cell phone. And again, it defaults to short text. Uh, and what I'm going to do is use an input mask on that. So I click there. And I'm going to save it again. And here I will look for phone number. I like the way it looks here. I'm not going to need to, need to try that. I'll click on Next. And it gives me uh, an, a mask again. I'll click on Next. And do I want to store the data with the symbols or without? It kind of depends on what you're going to do with it. Um, if I decide to print it later, I can insert symbols inside it or I can just store it like this. For the, In this case, I think I'm going to use up the extra room and store it with the symbols. And then I'll click on Next. And that's all I need. I'll click on Finish. And then I get my self-designed mask uh, for this particular field. I also want to change the caption. I'm going to call it cell phone. So if I wind up creating a form, it will look it will label it cell phone rather than cell phone no space. And I could do some other stuff to it. I can make it required or uh, other uh, issues. I don't want to do that, but that's what I have for now. So that's a nice way to use a mask 
when you're creating a database. Uh, so I set that up. Now I'll, I'll click up here in my ribbon and go to my regular view. I'll save the table. Sure. Now I'll try to put a zip in here. Tab. And that worked just fine. And then we'll put a phone in. Okay, and it works just fine. I click on the next next cell over here, and I do, and we'll try out. And it's nice. It controls it. I'm, I'm allowed to see it. I can do anything I want to with it. So those are two nice ways in which you can customize uh, the uh, look and feel of the data that you or someone else puts in a field in your database in Microsoft Access.